Okay, so this is gonna be a really short video. I just wanna give you an update on the wine cell, but more importantly, let's start with sort of the symbol of the wine cell. I was parking this in the middle, I thought, when I was describing it, it's gonna look so cool with all the bottles racked on it like this. Well, you know what? Didn't turn out so well. If you come a little bit closer, you'll sort of understand why. But before we do that, take a look at this. Andy's been going crazy. He's actually got the sand and sealer down. He's got one more sand and sealing stage to go through. And then we started in a seven layer polish, which is gonna look amazing. But that piece I was talking about earlier, it's gonna go right here. And the thing I didn't like about it is when you're standing where you are and you're looking inside the wine cellar, it's actually gonna block almost 50% of the wine cellar in the rear. But come on inside and take a look at this. Look at the different grains on all these wood patterns. And take a look at the way the corbels, even as smooth as they are, without a whole lot of detail, they still give us a really nice feeling. We've got gorgeous door styles here, and then we work our way all the way back to my favorite piece, of course, which is the carving on the double uh, sliding insert doors. But take a look over on this side. They just start setting up one of the uh, grills, and look how fine this looks. Like, once you see this, this is the beginning of the first piece. Of course, there'll be a second piece in behind it, and it's starting to get to that zone where we're going to start putting in more and more and more bottles of wine. Then we're going to light it up. We're going to pull back all this protective flooring, and you're going to see this wine cellar come together. But I just wanted you to give you an update on how it's looking, how it's progressing, but more importantly, just how pretty it looks. See you on the next one.